Welcome to the capital of Romania. We invite you to discover the special charm of this romantic city, where age-old traditions feed melancholies about the past, where oriental fatalism is contradicted by Latin restlessness. An impressive city where the statues, the elegant 19th century architecture and ambience breathe the great European cultural tradition. Among all the capital cities on the continent, Bucharest is the only one that has an artistic edifice as its effigy, the Athenaeum Rotunda, watched over by the statue of poet Mihai Minescu. Built in 1888 by public subscription, the Romanian Athenaeum, an architecture jewel, is today home to the George Enescu Philharmonic Orchestra. The large fresco painted by royal painter Costin Petrescu is an outstanding representation of the two millennia of troubled history of the Romanian people. The greatest names of world music have all entered this dome, among them Sergiu Celibidache, who was born in Romania. Composer Giorgio Enescu lived and wrote most of his chefs in this luxurious princely palace built at the very heart of the city by the Cantacuzino family in late 19th century. Its style is a blend of French neoclassicism and Art Nouveau. Every two years, in the memory of the great violin player and composer, Bucharest becomes the center of the music world. The Giorgio Enescu International Festival brings together the most famous orchestras and prestigious conductors, as well as the most highly appreciated singers. Concerts are also held in the Palace Hall or in the enormous Palace of the Parliament built in the 80s. With its imperial decorations, this is the second largest building in the world after the Pentagon. Across the street from the Intercontinental Hotel in University Square, the National Theatre hosts contemporary art galleries and its four floors of modular exhibiting locations are meant for cultural purposes only. The fine artists offer is amazing. New exhibitions are opened at an overwhelming pace. Moreover, artists are happy to invite you to visit their workshops. Close to the bank of the Dumbovica River, Calea Victoriei, one of the most sophisticated and expensive boulevards in Europe during the first half of the previous century, preserves its elegance and seductive Parisian appearance. A cosmopolitan city, Bucharest owes the name of Little Paris not only to the palaces built on French models, such as this bank building erected in 1900 by Paul Gautreau, but also to a certain lifestyle, to a discreet cult of elegance, the refinement of daily life that is stubbornly preserved despite the trials and tribulations of history. A picturesque blend of the western and the eastern world, the old shopping area of Lipskan is now the land of furniture and art object antique shops. Here, in the Hanulkute passageway, you can find unexpected treasures for reasonable prices. The Stavropoleos Monastery is a delicate jewel, chiseled in stone in 1724. The oasis of peace that it offers at the very heart of the financial area of the city caresses the soul. Also on Cala Victoria, standing in front of each other, we find the majestic military house, very popular for the balls organized there, and the Capsha restaurant. At Capsha, the intellectual elites would meet, philosophers Emil Choran and Mircea Eliade, as well as Tristan Tsara, the mastermind of the Dada movement, and Eugène Ionesco, the father of absurd theatre. Sarah Bernard and General Joffre also stopped here.
with its 30 theatre halls and more, with its directors, set designers and actors with worldwide experience, Bucharest is a great centre of the theatre world. The brilliant, extremely visual productions take your breath away. Tickets are also incredibly cheap, less than two euro. The National Opera House has magnificent productions on show. The team is excellent and the ambience unforgettable. A ticket only costs three euro. Cultural values are still very important to Romanians of all ages. In antique shops, collectors can find old stamps, manuscripts and rare editions. The Romanians' religious fervor is touching. Having more churches and places of worship than there are days in the year, Bucharest holds all types of sacred architecture. The various denominations live together in harmony. If language, belief and culture are a people's passport to eternity, Romania's miraculous survival as an island of Latinity amid so many other nations was due to Dacian Roman Christianity and the Neo-Latin language. Neither occupations nor atheist communism were able to destroy the sacred connection between God and the Romanian people. One of the churches is dedicated to Bukur the Shepherd, who, as the legend goes, was the founder of the city. But an old document signed in September 1459 and kept in this museum at Kurdeveke proves that Prince Vlad the Impaler was the first to set residence here, on the bank of the Dumbovita. The brave soldier never suspected that the 20th century would think of him as Dracula. Built in early 19th century, the Hanului Manuk Inn is perfectly preserved. I come from uh, Barcelona in Catalonia and uh, I, I, uh, I came here for a tourist trip just for a few days. It's really a very civilized uh, place, it's fantastic, it's a perfect uh, European city and uh, European country, so we love it. Also on Cala Victoriae lies the National History Museum, set up in the former Palace of the Post, and which is home to magnificent treasures. Among them, priceless Neolithic relics, Dacian treasures, and the famous Visigoth treasure known by the name of the Hen and the Gold Chicks. On the outskirts of the city, on the border of the Mogoshoya Lake, we find the beautiful palace built in the purest Romanian Brancovanu style. The martyr prince, Constantin Brancovanu, was decapitated in Constantinople, together with his four sons, for having refused to give up his faith. For those who do not have the time to visit other parts of Romania, the village museum gathers under the blue skies the richness of folk architecture, mastery and art. In Revolution Square, the Senate building stands next to the one century old Central University Library, which has recently been restored. Across the street is the former Royal Palace that today hosts the National Art Museum.
The museum's collection includes shaped overs of masters of world art, such as El Greco, Rembrandt, Rubens, Van Eyck, Bruegel, Rodin, Brunkusch and many, many others. The Romanian art exhibition halls stand proof of the exceptional creativity of our people. The big traditional hotels such as the Intercontinental, the Hilton and the Lido bring tourism and business together. Their fancy restaurants and terraces are always full to the brim. The Grand Marriott Hotel hosts important conferences and social events. And since Romanians are gourmands, the food is great here as well. Bucharest is waiting for you. Come and discover it.